welcome to my channel my name is Abdullah Kamil and today I'm gonna be showing you a really good trick when you uh, use a formula to conditional format uh, so the data we have here uh, we can see the months at the top and the days in the vertical here and what's in between is the dollar amount for uh, each day so we do have a whole year here what we are interested to do is to highlight the maximum value for each month and um, so we want to write a single formula in conditional formatting that looks at January, highlight the maximum value, moves to February, highlight the maximum value, and so on and so forth until it uh, completes all the months here. But it has to compare each month separately from the other months. And it has to be just one formula, okay? All right, so... Uh, we start by highlighting the whole range here or by selecting the whole range here we go to conditional formatting and then we go to new rule and then we choose uh, use a formula to determine which cells to format and um, we get this box here to write our formula and as you can see here format values where this formula is true so the uh, formula here needs to be a logical formula and if the result of the formula is true, then uh, the format here will be applied. If the uh, result of the formula is false, then it will not be applied. So um, the logical formula here, what are we gonna do? We're gonna take each and every one of these cells and compare it to uh, the month that uh, that cell sits in. Okay, so uh, we're gonna start by selecting C3. Now, as you can see here, um, Excel automatically locks the cell, but make sure you remove those locks, otherwise the formula will be wrong. Okay, so we write it again ourselves and see C3. This will allow the um, C3 will be it changed by C4, C5 until it completes the Jan uh, January column and moves to the next one until it completes the whole selected range here. Okay, and C3, in our case here, we want it to be equal to the maximum of all of January, okay? And if the result is um, true, then it will be formatted. Otherwise, it will move to the next cell, which is C4, and run the formula again until it finds a match, okay? So C3 equal to the maximum of what? equals to the maximum of all of January. Okay, so selecting all of January here, as you can see, Excel locks the uh, starting, the lock, locks the whole range. So it locks the starting cell and the end cell. But if we do that, the comparison will be only done for January. But we want it to move to February, March and April uh, until it finishes the whole year, right? So what we want to do, we want to move from January to February. To do that, you need to remove the lock on the column. So we come here, at the column here, and we'll remove the dollar sign just before the column C. We do the same for the end cell, for the range. So it becomes now C3 uh, with the lock draw to C33 with the lock draw, okay? And that will allow the range will automatically move to uh, D column, E column, F column until it comes here at uh, N column at the end, all right? And this is basically the formula, actually. So let's go ahead and format. And probably can use a pattern. And we can apply it some hint of light uh, color okay and uh, we just keep uh, black color here and we hit okay and voila once you hit okay uh, you can see here the maximum value for each month is being highlighted and the comparison is done for each month alone okay and as you can see if you select all of uh, January you can see here the maximum actually matches the selected value uh, of 148,000, which is the same as here. Uh, if you want uh, to check that the formula is actually working correctly, uh, 
I used uh, the random function, the random between function to generate all of these numbers. So I just need to recalculate. Okay, so if we go to formulas and calculate now again, and what happens is you can see how conditional formatting will recalculate everything and highlight the new values as they become available. Okay, and this is how it works. So uh, let's go back to the formula so you can see it again. And this is how the formula uh, work. It's really a short formula and it really does a lot. <laughs> okay, so thank you so much for watching. If you uh, like the video, please subscribe and come back again here for more. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you.